Ladies and gentlemen, it is the homemade broadcast HM bonus edition of the show. My name's Will. Welcome home. Welcome back. All that good stuff. HMBradio.com. Home underscore made underscore man. Good evening. I'm with you here because the Johnny B show is on hiatus this evening because the Lightning are taking on the Colorado Avalanche this evening, which is very exciting. And uh, it's Leah Bell's birthday. So I asked Johnny if he wanted to come on and, and speak with me for a little bit. And he said, no, I don't. I'm going to dinner with my wife. And I said, oh, well, all right. And happy birthday to Leah. Now, this is a very important subject I want to cover. I, I don't know how many of you that listen to this program are in the sports. I don't think it matters because this is one of those cultural phenomenon that whether you are in the sports or not, you're still probably going to take part in some sort of Super Bowl party. You're going to go. You want to watch Rihanna. You know, it's uh, even if you don't like the game, you like the pageantry. You like it's just a good opportunity for people to get together and drink. And people love that. I don't need to do that. I just drink alone at my house. But some people feel like they need to uh, go and be in a group setting in order to get drunk on a Sunday night. Hey. More power to you. I get it. I get it. Some of you have a thing known as shame, which I don't have. So I wanted to do a public service announcement today. I wanted to go over a list because you're probably going to have to bring something. If you go over to somebody's house, you're going to need to bring some sort of item. For many of you, that might be fentanyl. It might be, uh, you know, just a beer or something, a six pack. Uh, don't bring one beer. OK, don't bring wine. To a Super Bowl party. If you're going to bring wine for you, bring it for you. Nobody else is going to drink it. I don't drink beer. I get it. Bring wine and bring something else. Don't just bring wine if you're the only one pouring it and drinking it. I'm talking to you gals on this one. I know I know your style. I know how you do things. You got to bring something else too. Some sort of edible item, perhaps. So I wanted to go over this list. This is uh, DraftKings. They have a top 10 Super Bowl snacks ranked. And I think this is a pretty good list. I looked it over. Let's go over it together, shall we? Pizza coming in at number 10. Pizza should be way higher. Arguably number one. But the number one item on this list is it's the pinnacle. It is the pinnacle. So I might put pizza in at number two. Number nine, a sandwich ring. Yes, everybody loves a good sandwich. Big fan. Some Italian sub in a ring or just, you know, you could just get regular subs too and cut them out. I don't need to be in a ring necessarily. Some people like it. Number eight, this one's unusual. Perhaps this is a regional thing. Fried pickles. I love a fried pickle. Didn't really think about it to be a Super Bowl item necessarily, but pro fried pickles. Absolutely. Who's not? Maybe this is like a South thing or something. I don't know. Number seven, again, cookie cake. I'm not big on sweets, really, at these things. It's all beer, booze, and bad food. Um, but, you know, cookie cake, some people got the sweet tooth. So, yeah, you could do some of those. Um, a cookie cake or, like, cupcakes that are, you know, shaped like a football or something. You know, something like that. Some sort of themed item that's fun. I'm pro that. So I guess, yeah, you guess you should have some sweets, even if you're not into it, because some people do have a sweet, too. So that's a good thing to bring and probably something that people would overlook because it mostly is booze and, you know, bad foods other than not sweet necessarily, just like junk food. Six. This is kind of a cop out because while they are right. It's uh, you can't you kind of got to pick one thing. I don't know if you can go with snack table. I mean, and they say, you know, this goes into chips like chips and dip, um, pretzels, that type of stuff. And of course you want those things. But I feel like if you're going to make a true top 10 list, you need to list them individually. Like pretzels might be number six. Chips might be number five. I don't know. They're, they're cheating a little bit. But yes, they're absolutely right. Absolutely. Nachos, um, seven layer dips, uh, buffalo chicken dip. French onion dip, spinach dip, all that. Absolutely pro that. 
not oh they got number five nachos individually I, I feel like that sneaks into snack table maybe it's its own thing i guess it is its own thing and you got the, the obviously the seven layer nachos is where it's at you got to do the seven layer dip they have a recipe right here i was listening to roger and jp today i was in the car monica does not like guacamole so she doesn't put it so she makes a six layer dip and apparently it's phenomenal which i'm i'm sure it is undoubtedly it is but she won't put guacamole on it and she said that uh i don't like it so nobody else gets to enjoy it so she doesn't even make another one for for everybody else it's not truly a seven layer dip six layer dip nobody likes six layer dip everybody likes seven layer dip come on number four overlooked cheeseburger sliders yes pro cheeseburger slider you get some uh you don't even have to do if you have like a crystal or a white castle something like that you just go order a bunch of these things it's easy you pick it up you take it over you're gonna be a big hero if you do something like that but you can even do the um white castle frozen burgers they're cheap they're like 450 and you get nine of them so i mean for under 15 bucks 20 bucks you get four packets of those You'd be a hero walking in there. Just microwave them. Yeah, they're a little soggy, but and you can do it different ways where you, you know, like steam the bun or something. But just microwave, they're really good. They're fine. You don't need to do anything crazy. Now they're very specific with this, and I I tend to agree. Publix fried chicken, fried chicken, um, kind of falls into the same genre as the number one item on this list, but I'll allow it. I'll allow it. I think that that's fair, having fried chicken be its own thing. And Publix fried chicken is phenomenal. You can't really beat Publix fried chicken if you're just, uh, you know, they're all good, though, right? I mean, I'm a church's guy myself. I know here in St. Pete, we have Kings. Everybody raves about Kings. Kings is okay. Kings is fine. But Publix, really, if you just need to grab and go real quick, those chicken tenders are phenomenal. You know, really good. You grab some potato salad. You grab some macaroni salad. Throw it in your cart. People are going to love it. Number two, again, you know, buffalo chicken dip, yes. But doesn't that just fall into number six, into the dip category? I don't know. I'm going to tell you what I would replace number. I think that goes into your snack table thing where you prepare the snacks. And maybe if you're hosting, that's what you bring is kind of you do the, the pretzels, the chips, the guac, the nacho cheese, whatever, all that stuff, the dip stuff in. That's your thing. That's probably the easiest, easiest cleanup. And then you let everybody else bring the, the big items, the pizzas, the burgers, stuff like that. I'm going to tell you what I would replace number two with in a second. But number one, wings. 100%. It's got to be wings at number one right here. Um, locally here, let's see. Favorite wings. You got Wing House. You got Hooters. Ferg's is really good. However, I will say with Ferg's, it's uncanny. And I don't want to, I don't want to um, you know, put out any sort of dirt on Ferg's or anything or slander them by any means because I it's a phenomenal place and I love I love their chicken wings so much, but I get diarrhea every time. I don't know what it is about how they prepare them, what they do to it, what their sauce is, but my body rejects it almost immediately. I mean, it is a race to get home. If I go there and watch a football game or something, I don't order until the fourth quarter. I have some beers, lay down a layer of alcohol first, and then about halfway through the fourth, you know, maybe maybe even five minutes in, it takes a little while usually to get your food, and then I eat the wings, and then by the time the game's over, it's over for me, and I got to rush home and get home. So if you live in the St. Pete area, definitely Ferg's. You know, I don't know. Maybe it's just the chemistry in my body. Again, I'm not slandering Ferg's at all. This is not an endorsement. It's not not an endorsement. It's my personal endorsement for delicious food that will also clear you out and uh, may ruin your evening. Let's just let's just leave it at that. So definitely wings. I want to say number two, buffalo chicken dip. Replace chicken dip. I think that goes into snack table. It's its own kind of thing with dips, hot dogs, right? Come on, grill up some hot dogs on the grill. Those are, 
surprisingly expensive. I hadn't bought a hot dog in a very long time. I was uh, heading over to a friend's house last week and asked him what he wanted me to bring. He said hot dogs. And I was like, great. That's super cheap. Very, it, I think it was for 10 dogs. I think it was a dollar a dog. I mean, hot dogs are, it's nothing. It's ground up organ meat and, you know, whatever migrants, you know, pass crossing the border. They kind of just throw everybody in there and with the pigs, you know, organs, whatever. People that are still drying of COVID, they all kind of get thrown in there and they grind it up. And then out comes this tube of, you know, surprisingly delicious meat. But a dollar a dog. Now, that's crazy. That is not back in the back in the day. I used to be when I was really poor. I used to shop at a supermarket called Aldi, which Aldi has stepped up their game, too. But that was a place where um, you could get items of questionable quality at a very cheap price. And I was the only person, I think, to ever purchase bone-in hot dogs, 88 cents for, I believe it was a dozen hot dogs. 88 cents, what a steal. I got some canned chili. I got the 88-cent hot dogs. You know, some buns were like $1.25. I mean, I was going to eat for days on this for three bucks. It's pretty much the whole week. It was a steal. And I prepared these hot dogs and I chomped into one and there was a hoof or something and there almost broke a tooth. And I said, this just isn't worth it. I will say the dollar dogs that I got, dollar dog ones, they were really good. High quality, all beef franks, whatever that means. Can't prove it. So I would put hot dogs at number two. You get this, you get the kraut, you get the onions, you get the chili. You already have the nacho cheese, or you're probably already going to have a chili cheese, you know, dip. Throw some of that on the dog with a little bit of onion. Oh, now we're talking. No ketchup. Not a big ketchup guy. Also, not going to scold you if you put ketchup on your hot dog. If that's what you like to eat, that's fine. You're a child. But, you know, whatever floats your boat. Bone out hot dog all the way. Dollar B Franks. Way to go. Number two. And I think that's it for today. I'm going to go make some hot dogs, not the cheap ones. I hope you have a great evening. We'll be back tomorrow night on the Johnny B Show, 8 to 10 p.m., right here on The Bone, or right there on The Bone. You can uh, share this video. That would really help out. You could um, follow me on social media. That would help out. Home underscore made underscore man, Instagram and Twitter. And enjoy the Super Bowl. If I don't talk to you, I'm going to take the... Uh, and I couldn't really care any less about the game. But I'm going to, I think probably, man, I don't know. They're very well matched, these two teams, the Eagles and the Chiefs. I'm going to take the Chiefs. I'm going to say Tom Brady has retired and it's going to be the, uh, the new GOAT, Patrick Mahomes, is going to take it home on Sunday. That's my pick. I think the final score is going to be 28 to 24. And the Chiefs win. My name's Will. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.